Harvey Weinstein, right? On trial, what comes out? Governor Gavin Newsom's wife talks about her assault. He visited upon her. This was extreme and very emotional. So let me give you some background. Let's put up the picture full mass. This is his second trial, by the way. California Governor Gavin Newsom's wife, her name is Jennifer Newsom, testified before a jury that she was, in fact, sexually assaulted, right, by Harvey Weinstein. This was back in 2005. Remember that year, 2005. I'm going to bring you back to that year in just a moment. She was crying heavily in the court. Ms. Newsom told a packed courtroom about Weinstein forcing himself on her in a Beverly Hills hotel room back in September of 2005. She said that during the meeting, Weinstein first began penetrating her with his fingers before forcing his penis into her. In loud and emphatic testimony that gripped the jury and drew tears from people in the pack gallery. Ms. Newsom said she could tell that Weinstein, and I quote, knows this is not normal. He knows this is not consent. Before shouting through tears, "Oh God, she said, felt horror, horror. I'm trembling I'm like a rock, I'm frigid. This is my worst nightmare. I'm just this blow up doll and I'm just trying to masturbate off of. Let's put up the picture of Harvey Weinstein. She met Harvey in September 2005 at the Toronto International Film Festival. She was an actress and a producer. During the initial meeting with Weinstein, he came directly to me and people sort of backed off. He wanted to know who I was, what my name was, why I was there. They moved to a quieter area and Weinstein said he wanted to meet up with her later. I felt like I had to, like okay, sure, Ms. Newsom said. But she also felt like there was a genuine interest in talking about my work. She then described how Weinstein kept in touch with her and even delivered a gift to her home. Weinstein later called inviting Ms. Newsom to meet him in a peninsula hotel, this is Beverly Hills. Telling her he was, and I quote, interested in helping me with my career and wanted to talk more to me about it to offer advice and support. Soon after she arrived at his hotel room, Weinstein said he needed to get more comfortable, okay? Asked her to help find him a bathrobe. I was like, please don't, please don't. It's okay, I remember getting kind of rattled. I was just like, please don't, she said. I backpedaled and he would go toward me. Just sort of this cat and mouse thing in this little area. Newsom described in graphic detail her rape, her encounter with this sexual assaulter, and even how weird his genitalia appeared. I was just pretending like nothing happened and putting that in a box over here and moving on with my career, she said. So much shame. I was so violated, and I don't know how that happened. I didn't see the clues. I didn't know. How to escape. Now, I want to remind everyone, Weinstein had already been doing this for years. This was in 2005. He continued to do it after 2005. It was the worst kept secret in Hollywood. As a matter of fact, comedians made jokes about his sexual assaults as if it was funny what he did to brutalize women during the course of his career. Now, back in 2005, also, something else happened. The same year, Ms. Newsom was assaulted by Weinstein, according to her. Rock star Courtney Love had this to say when asked if she had any advice for a young girl moving to Hollywood. Here it is. Do you have any advice for a young girl moving to Hollywood? Um, I'll get lively with this. On Harvey Weinstein, I'd like to do a private party and enforce the existence. Yeah. She said that. What happened after Courtney Love said that? The CAA, the Creative Arts Agency, well, they suspended her. 
Okay, so Weinstein can sexually assault women, no issue. But Courtney Love cannot say what Weinstein does. Now she's suspended. Okay, this is Weinstein's second sexual assault trial. He was found guilty in the first. This was back in 2020. All right, white privilege, money, status, power. Uh, and this fascination with Hollywood types as if they are gods of sorts combines to make a very awful reality. Jackson, thoughts here? Yeah, you know, Harvey Weinstein is just a disgusting pig waste of a life who, you know, luckily got what he deserved. Looks miserable, looks horrible, uh, rightfully so. And uh, importantly, this goes to show how real power he is. I mean, people know, like you pointed out, people knew what he was doing. You know, stuff like this, stuff like this doesn't really go under the radar. People just keep it quiet because it's a benefit to them, which also goes to show um, how righteous doing the right thing can be because it's not easy. You know, all these people who stayed in line and stayed quiet because they were getting paid, and and if they stood up against them, they knew that you know their their jobs and their careers were probably going to be threatened, and that was more important than standing up for women who were going through these horrible things. Uh, so you know, again, luckily he got caught and, and thrown where he's supposed to be, but he did what he did for way too long just because he lined people's pockets. Very well said. Very well said. We will continue to follow this trial, obviously.